Hello, hello, my friends. I have another dedicated candle review to talk about today. This is Bath & Body Works Apple Crisp. Now, I am not your Bath & Body Works historian. Most of you who have been subscribed to my channel already know that about me. I do enjoy the brand, but if you're coming to me for all of the latest and greatest reviews and um, news and info and comparisons to launches from several years ago i'm probably not going to be your girl however i do like purchasing from the brand here and there and also just sharing with you what my thoughts are about fragrances that they offer that appeal to me and this is one of the candles that when i went in store a couple of weeks ago i was really intrigued by it i do believe that it is being marketed as a new fragrance and when i picked it up and opened the lid i thought yeah i like this one let's go ahead and give it a shot so this is their standard three wick 14 ounce vessel that all of us are very familiar with from bath and body works i have to say i am actually a fan of this packaging i think it's pretty um i like the aesthetic of it uh does it exactly match the the uh fall decor in my home no but it's okay um i do like it it's nothing earth shattering it's a little bit different than um some of their other packaging i will say that probably the luminary packaging that they've offered in some of the fall one candles were probably more my preference but it's okay um we do also have a white wax with this candle and um, that can be a good thing or maybe a negative thing with Bath & Body Works candles, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in this review. Fragrance notes on this candle are caramelized apple, cinnamon crumble, and sugared oats. They keep the fragrance notes pretty short and sweet on a lot of these uh, Bath & Body Works candles. I mean, they do also only have so much room that they can print it on the bottom of these labels. So what does my nose detect? I really like this fragrance. It is definitely an apple fragrance, um, but it is not an apple pie scent. And I mentioned this, I think, in my Bath & Body Works video that I did last week, that a uh, fun fact about me, I actually enjoy an apple crisp much more than apple apple pie. I do like the oats. I like the brown sugar. I like, um, I like that aspect. It gives a little bit, I think I like the texture of an apple crisp a little bit more than your standard apple pie. Now I won't turn down a warm apple pie with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on it any day, but if you're asking me my preference, I do like the crisp and I do feel like this fragrance is pretty authentic to eating a good apple apple crisp or when you're baking one in the oven. I typically use like a Granny Smith apple for baking. I like that tartness in it. And I do detect that in here. I think that it's interesting that they say caramelized apple because when I bake a crisp, I am um, in, in my, um, in my mixture, I should say, I usually use, you know, some of the, the standard spices that you have cinnamon, um, which is why it says like a cinnamon crumble in here. But usually the other aspects that go into that crumble are butter, brown sugar, and then the oats in here. And I definitely get all of those fragrance notes in this candle. I do feel like this is very, very well done. I don't feel like I need to go into too great, too great of lengths to describe the fragrance on this just because Bath and Body Works is quite accessible and this fragrance is available in a lot of stores. It's not an online exclusive, um, but I do get that caramelized fragrance that it comes out when it is burning. However, this is done really nicely because unlike another fragrance that has um, caramel listed in the fragrance notes from Bath and Body Works, we'll talk about that this week. This one is not coming across scorched or burned to my nose. Um, it's just coming across kind of gooey, but then you're also hit with the balance of there's some of that like sweet oats in there um in and and cinnamon in there for sure um it's not overly red hot spice cinnamon um but this is a very very nice fragrance i've really enjoyed burning this one um and i i think that what the fragrance is saying that it is the, the name of this fragrance is definitely true to what i am smelling let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle so so far you can see you guys i'm going to turn this it's a little bit hot i've been burning it for a little while so ouch turn a little bit hot there you can see i'm getting good performance on this candle now i 
I don't believe I've even had to trim the wicks at all on this candle. Um, Bath and Body Works candles, if they develop excess soot or carbon at the end, I will trim that off. But I've been pretty happy with the performance of this candle so far. Um, you guys know I've been pretty vocal about my Bath and Body Works candles for fall one and fall two. Some of them, um, they start out burning pretty puny for me. Um, I, I even, I think it was Pumpkin Bonfire was really bad for me, as was the Cranberry and Gala Apple. Um, just, I was really dealing with like puny wicks from the outset. I'm used to hitting those with um, midway burns on Bath and Body Works, not so much with um, from the outset, but I'm happy to say that this one has been burning well for me from the beginning. It's also had pretty decent strength and throw. I would say that this one is pretty solid. I would give this about an eight in terms of strength and throw. It's been one of the stronger candles that I have picked up from Bath and Body Works this season. Um, it travels well throughout my open concept living room into the kitchen. Um, if I put it in one of the bedrooms, like my master bedroom or burn it in my daughter's room, it definitely fills up that fragrance. And it's, while it's not cloying, it is almost kind of one of those more, it'll smack you in the face if you're planning to burn this in a more uh, closed concept or lower ceiling room. You're definitely going to smell it. But um, in a more open concept with high ceilings, uh, that room, it's slightly, I would say a little bit more pleasant in, in um, I would say like a setup like that, because it's not going to be as smack you in the face. Again, we all know that some people, they really like that effect and other people like fragrances that are more of like a subtle background fragrance. So it can be either of those depending on, uh, depending on the layout of your home. So overall, this candle does get two thumbs up from me. Do I need to back it up? No, I've got a lot of fragrances in my collection that I think that while I enjoy this one, um, it's been one of my favorite ones that I've purchased this year. Do I feel the need to, um, I only purchase backups of candles if I fear that they are never going to return again and I'm just enjoying them so much. And I will say that while I enjoy this one, um, it's really only a fragrance that I would burn late August, early September. And I have a lot of other fragrances right now that are just a little bit more nuanced that I'm enjoying um, maybe a little bit more than this one. That's not to say that I don't like this one because I do, but um, I don't feel the need to back it up. I will enjoy it for the rest of the time that I have it here in my collection, and then I will move on from it. So burn has been good for me. Fragrance is good. Um, quality of the strength and throw has also been good. So this one is a winner if you have your eye on it. Um, maybe you've picked it up in store, but you wanted to see some reviews to see how it is performing. Um, here are my thoughts. So please feel free to hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed it, feel free to chime in down below with your burn experience. I know that Bath and Body Works candles have been very hit or miss. I mean, they usually always are, let's be honest. But I know that even with this season, I've seen some reviews from some of my fellow trusted content creators and they, you know, they've had different experiences than mine. So um, feel free to chime in down below what your burn experience has been. We also know that, you know, all of us live in different climates and we have different home layouts. And also there is batch variations, but really in particular with Bath and Body Works because they are such a large company. So again, feel free to chime in down below what your experience has been with this candle. Consider subscribing to my channel if you are new. I do a lot of dedicated reviews like this, as well as hauls and empties and a lot of fun candle content in between. I do want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.